This week, people from all over the world flooded into Paris to talk code and crypto. The largest Ethereum conference in Europe is underway right now. One guy, though, had a bit of a different purpose. He's a Czech prince. His family had entire castles and thousands of cultural artifacts stolen. Not once, but twice. Well, now this young prince is turning technology so that safeguarding his family heirlooms and legacy can be helped. CNBC's technology reporter Mackenzie Segalo started her week at that conference in Paris. Now she's live with us from Prague, where she's been following the prince and his entourage. Hi, Mackenzie. Hey, Shep. So a 700-year-old noble family in the Czech Republic had their castles and 20,000 cultural artifacts, first stolen by the Nazis, then by the communists, and now this 27-year-old prince named William Lobkowitz is turning to the blockchain to protect and preserve these historical objects. When we first came back uh, to the Czech Republic and restitution began, it was the Wild West, and we really didn't have any business plan whatsoever. Restitution, or the process of restoring stolen items to their rightful owner, is not the fairy tale that it's made out to be. It took 25 years, and most of those castles and ancient artifacts were in terrible shape. Think collapsing roofs and heating bills of $350 an hour. But his family was determined to restore these recovered landmarks and open them up to the public. That's why William decided to experiment with NFTs as a way to raise funds. We've adopted an approach where we try to bring people on the journey of philanthropy. So we've tried something where we've taken a painting that needs a restoration of some kind. There could be a hole in the canvas, it's damaged in some way, and we uh, create an image of the NFT and sell that NFT at the price of the restoration of the piece. They've sold NFTs of music that hasn't been played in 250 years. Others animate X-ray and infrared images so that you can see through to the invisible layers of a canvas that have been painted over. But William and his family are also turning to the blockchain to protect this cultural legacy so that it can be preserved in perpetuity. What I'm doing right now I don't think is any different from any of my predecessors. Each uh, prince did something completely different based off of the times they lived in. So keep in mind, William and his family do not live in these castles, and they never intended to. From the beginning, they wanted to give as many people as possible access to these historical monuments. So this really is a labor of love, Shep. It sure seems it. Mackenzie Segalos live early this Saturday morning in Prague. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.